let us see the question number 23 it is given that in the given arrangement the reading of a meter is same in each case when either k1 or k2 is closed the reading of a meter is here the circuit is like this in this uh, v battery is there here e1 e2 batteries are connected with separate k1 k2 switches r1 is a resistance and here r2 is a resistance let us think ammeter reading is same when either k1 is closed or k2 is closed okay first let us think k1 switch is closed if k1 switch is closed then current passes in this direction that is current will be passing in this way okay and here like this the current will be passed thinking that e1 is greater than v therefore finally the current direction will be along the e1 direction now in this case what will be the current is total emf by total resistance what is the total emf e1 and v are opposing each other therefore net emf is e1 minus v by net amount of resistance in the circuit in the entire circuit what is there only r2 is acting okay so that is r2 right that is in when k1 switch is only closed next if the k1 is kept open k2 is closed then what happens current will be passed by this e2 cell and v cell will be opposite to the e2 cell again net amount of em uh, net, um, net amount of uh, uh, current passing through this is again same as before so therefore it can be written as e2 minus v by r1 r2 both are in series now r1 and r2 will be both are in series so that is r1 plus r2 okay from this i value we had find out but options are not in terms of v without v symbol we have to get the i first of all from these two equations from these two equations let us find out the v value okay so from these two equations if you take the v value if you cross multiply what do we get is uh, e1 r1 plus e1 r2 minus or uh, we'll write here these two equations if you use e1 r1 plus e1 r2 minus v r1 minus v r2 is equal to e2 r2 minus v r2 okay both sides minus v r2 gets cancelled v r1 is equals to e r e2 r2 will be coming this side e1 r1 plus e1 r2 uh, minus e2 r2 okay that is v r1 sorry v r1 is equal to this only v equal to e1 r1 plus e1 r2 minus e2 r2 by r1 this we substitute back in this equation of this equation to get the current i so therefore i can be written as e1 minus v by r2 in that e1 minus v means this equation what is that equation e1 r1 plus e1 r2 minus e2 r2 by r1 hold it by r2 if you take lcm here then e1 uh, sorry this is e1 e1 r1 e1 r1 cancels then what will remain e2 r2 minus e1 r2 by uh, r1 r2 will be remaining but r2 is common cancels what will be the finally e2 minus e1 by r1 is the current let us see the next question 24th 
the potential difference between the points uh, A and B in the figure VB minus VA is equal to. So if you look at the circuit, the circuit is given like this. Now in this, this is a closed part, closed circuit. So therefore current in this passes like this. What is the current in this? That is called as I. I current is passing. So that current totally we can give as total voltage by total resistance. Total voltage is 12 by total resistance is 2 ohm plus 4 ohm, 6 ohm. That will be 2 ampere. 2 ampere current is passing. Okay. Right. Here, across this, 2 ampere current is passing. Therefore, what about the voltage from here to here? 4 ohm resistance is there. Current is 2 ampere. Therefore, voltage across this is 8 volt. Okay. Through this, there is no current. Okay. So, in this, there is no current. Therefore, there will be no voltage across this. This is of a 4 volt battery. So, A to B potential difference we have to find out. So, VB minus VA is asking to calculate. Okay. This is 8 volt. So, here high potential, here low potential. Okay. So, then from A to B, Kirchhoff's second law if you apply. Okay. So, our potential difference from B to A also you can write. So, that is VB minus VA is okay. Here 8 volt, here it is 4 volt. This will be here it is high potential, it is low potential here. Low potential on the B side and a high potential towards A side. Therefore, VB minus VA is equals to uh, here minus 8 plus 4 that will be minus 4 volt. Okay. Let us see the question number 25. Find the current through the switch S yes, when it is closed. If the switch is closed, what is the current passing through it? So here current through this switch we have to calculate. Here in this case, A place 20 volt is there at B place 10 volt is there. Here it is I think 0 volt. So the currents from here they will be passing and they will be going to earth. So the directions of currents are shown here. So at this O place, Kirchhoff first law if you write. So that is I1 plus I2 is equals to I. I1 plus I2 is equals to I. I1 according to Ohm's law. At the O place potential, let us think VO. Then I1 is potential difference by resistance. That is 20 minus VO by resistance to Ohm. I2 will be 10 minus VO by 4 ohm is equals to from here to here what is the potential difference v o minus 0 by 2 ohm okay now here if you simplify this it will become as 2 2 2 table if you get then this is nothing but 40 minus 2 v naught plus 10 minus v naught is equals to 2 v naught v naught on one side if you bring 5 v naught is equal to 50 that means v naught is 10 so here it is 10 volt okay if v naught is 10 volt what about the current through the 2 ohm resistance so current i is equals to potential difference by resistance that is 5 ampere okay in the question number 26 find the potential difference across 24 ohm across this 24 ohm potential difference is asking so if you look at the circuit these are all six resistances are there all of them are in parallel for all of them 24 resistance uh, potential difference means for all of them potential difference first of all we can reduce this circuit into like this 48 48 will be parallel will become 24 ohm 24 ohm 24 ohm will be parallel will become 12 ohm 12 ohm 6 ohm parallel will become 4 ohm 
4 ohm 4 ohm parallel will become 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm parallel will become 1 ohm so therefore the circuit is equivalent to this 3 ohm 5 ohm are in series will become 8 ohm and this one is 1 ohm and the current passing through this is 2 ampere so what will be the potential difference formed across 1 ohm across this potential difference is 1 into 2 that is 2 volts potential difference across this 2 volt means potential difference across this total combination even across 24 also therefore what is the voltage 2 volt is the potential difference let us see the question number 27 the circuit is given like this in this potential difference across the resistor of 400 ohm as will be measured by the voltmeter V of the resistance 400 ohm will be across this 400 ohm what will be the voltage measured by the voltmeter whose resistance is 400 ohm okay so let us see this circuit carefully it is nothing but similar to the Wheatstone bridge okay here 400 400 ohm will be in parallel will be 200 ohm so 100 200 and this 100 200 okay p q ratio r s ratio are equal then this middle 100 ohm resistance will be inactive that will be not acting in the circuit okay therefore this 100 ohm resistance we need not to take okay now on this 400 ohm voltage means on this entire combination voltage okay so the voltage to calculate here total voltage is 10 volt across this uh, only we have to find out the voltage so the voltage on 100 ohm this 100 ohm let us think v1 on this two combination let us think it as v2 so what is asking is v2 is asking r1 is 100 ohm r2 is 200 ohm so therefore v2 formula is r1 uh, r2 into v by r1 plus r2 okay r2 is 200 ohm into v is 10 ohm 10 volts totally by r1 plus r2 is 100 plus 200 that is 300 so 2000 by 300 that will be nothing but 20 by 3 volts okay question number 28 in a Wheatstone bridge, resistance in a cyclic orders are 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 20 ohm, 40 ohm. In order to obtain the balance, the resistance is to be connected with the 40 ohm ease. Here right now the bridge is not balanced because the ratio is not equal. So some resistance should be connected across the 40 ohm so that the bridge becomes balanced. Now here, if you look at this, here 10 and here 20. Here it is 20, here also it should be 10 ohm, 40 ohm is there, if it is 10 ohm, then 10, 20, 10, 20 ratio will be matching and the bridge will be balanced. This 40 ohm should become 10 ohm, means we should connect in series extra resistance or parallel, it should be in parallel because in parallel only resistance will be decreased. So for this 40 ohm, we should connect some resistor in parallel so that total resistance should become 10 ohm. Okay this part resistance should become 10 ohm so that is 40 into r by 40 plus r should be equals to 10 then r value to calculate 0 cancels 4r is equals to 40 plus r r this side 3r is equals to 40 therefore r equals to 40 by 3 so what is the resistance to be connected in parallel 40 by 3 we have to connect in parallel okay that is in shunt next let us see the question number 29 in a meter bridge experiment two unknown resistances x and y are connected to the left and right gaps of a meter bridge and the balancing point is obtained at 20 centimeter from the right x is greater than y the new position of the null point from the left if one decides to balance a resistance of 40 x against y first in the left gap it is x and right gap it is y 
balance point from the this is equals to L by 100 minus L we call it as right now x is to y is equals to balancing point uh, from right end 20 centimeter means from left end it will be 80 centimeter so this is 80 by 100 minus uh, 80 is nothing but 20 this is 4 x is to y is 4 next uh, 4x is to be balanced against y 4x so 4x is balanced against y now balancing length uh, we have to find out 100 minus l okay 4 into x is to y is already we have 4 is equals to l we have to find out by 100 minus l cross multiplying 1600 minus 16 l is equals to l 1600 is equals to 17 L. Therefore, L is 1600 by 17. So, if you divide, we get uh, this as 94.1 centimeter. Question number 30. When a conductor is connected in the left gap and a known resistance in the right gap, the balancing length is 50 cm. If the wire is stretched so that the length increases by 20%, the new balancing length is here. First, left gap is R resistance, right side gap S resistance that is called. Balancing length is 50 cm is said. So, if L is 50, 100 minus L also 50. That means, R and S are equal. R and S are equal. Okay. Next what happened is if the wire is stretched so that label its length increases by 20% what about the new balancing length? This resistance R stretched by 20% whenever the wire is under stretching situation resistance is proportional to L square we know then r1 r by r dash let us call is equals to l by l dash is 120 by 100 l because it is increased by 20 percent new length will be how much 120 l by 100 you can write whole square so this l cancels 0 cancels 5 and 6 it will be going up r by r dash is equals to okay or it is 100 by 144 10 by 12 whole square therefore r dash is cross multiplying 1.44 r new resistance is 1.44 r r and s are same next in second case r dash by s is equals to r dash by s equals to some balancing length by 100 minus l now he should be careful here this length is balancing length this is wire length they are not same r dash is 1.44 r by s is equals to l by 100 minus l okay now this is r and s are equal they cancel cross multiplying 144 minus 1.44 l is equal to l 144 is equal to 2.44 L. Therefore, L is 144 by 2.44. This, if we divide, okay, then we get the new balancing length, okay, that will become 59.01 centimeter. Question number 31. In a meter bridge experiment, the length AB wire of 1 meter, the resistors X and Y have the values 5 ohm and 2 ohm respectively. When a shunt resistance S is connected to X, the balancing point is found to be 0 0.625 meter from A. Then the resistance of shunt is here. X, Y resistances are given as 5 ohm and 2 ohm. Okay. Now in the left arm, total resistance is this is 5 ohm this is 2 ohm 
5 and s are in parallel so therefore 5 into s by 5 plus s by right side resistance 2 ohm is equals to l by 100 minus l is the formula but in this question length given is uh, in meter so therefore it should be 1 minus l in meter now this is 5 into s by uh, 2 into 5 plus s is equals to l is 0.625 by 1 minus 0 0.625 is 0 0.375 okay right if you calculate this decimal we can cut 25 table if you calculate 25 ones are and 25 fives are this will be 25 25 5 threes 5 fives here 5 here 5 we can cut cross multiplying 3s is equals to 10 plus 2s and s one side if you bring s is equals to 10 ohm so what is the shunt resistance which we is connected is 10 ohm question number 32 a cell of emf capital e and internal resistance small r is connected in the secondary gets balanced against a length is small l of the potentiometer wire if a resistance capital r is connected in parallel with the cell then the new balancing length of the for the cell will be first only cell is balanced therefore we can write its emf is equals to potential gradient into balancing length uh, l okay next this is in first in situation after this after this it is observed that there is a capital R connected in parallel to that therefore external voltage will be getting balanced so external voltage will be getting balanced to L dash let us call so that is in second situation L dash we have to find out for that let us divide the two equations first and second let us divide if you divide E by V external voltage how can we write one of the formula what we have is E into capital R by capital R plus small r is equal to L by L dash. E gets cancelled. So cross multiplying L dash equal to R into L by R plus R is a new balancing length. Next let us see the question number 33. In the determination of internal resistance of a cell using the potentiometer when the cell is shunted by resistance capital R and connected in the secondary circuit the balance length is found to be l1 on doubling the shunt resistance the balancing length is found to be l2 the value of a internal resistance is in this case of two resistors separately used as a shunt uh, balancing lengths if they are l1 and l2 we know one uh, formula that is r1 into r2 plus small r by r2 into r1 plus small r is equals to l1 by l2 first time shunt resistance is r1 second time shunt resistance is r2 in this question first time resistance is r given second time doubled to r plus small r by r2 is 2r into r plus small r is equals to l1 by l2 from this small r we have to find out so r gets cancelled so cross multiplying this you will get 2r into l2 plus r l2 is equals to 2r into l1 plus 2r into 2 small r into l1 small r one side if you bring capital r other side if you bring then here 2R L2 minus 2R L1 is equal to R common 2L1 minus L2. So small r is equals to here 2 common or 2R is common. 2R into L2 minus L1 by that will be becoming as 2L1 minus L2. 
is the internal resistance okay let us see the question number 34 the current in the primary circuit of a potentiometer is 0.2 ampere specific resistance and cross section of the potentiometer wire are 2 into 10 power minus 7 ohm meter and 4 into 10 power minus 7 meter square respectively the potential gradient will be equal to potential gradient we have to find out so potential gradient let us show with x symbol which is potential difference per unit length across the potentiometer wire so that is potential difference can be written as current into resistance by L the current into resistance can be written as rho into L by area of cross section and by L is there so L get cancelled and here we substitute the values current passing through this potentiometer wire is 0.2 ampere and specific resistance is given in the question as 2 into 10 power minus 7 area of cross section is given as 4 into 10 power minus 7 10 power minus 7 we can get uh, 0.4 by 4 is 0.1 volt per meter question number 35 in the meter bridge, the gaps are closed by two resistances P and Q and the balance point is obtained at 40 cm. When Q is shunted by resistance of 20 ohm, the balance point shifts to 50 cm. The values of P and Q are First, only P, Q are taken. Then balance point is at 40 cm from the left hand. Therefore, we can write P by Q is equals to 40 by 60 l by 100 minus l so now 22 is 23s p by q ratio is 2 is to 3 okay and next when q is shunted by what resistance 20 ohm q is shunted by 20 ohm resistance then balance point shifts to 50 centimeter what does it mean left gap resistance right gap resistance are equal okay so if left side gap resistance right side gap resistance are equal p is l in the left side right side what it is q and 20 are in parallel so that is 20 into q by 20 plus q okay from this we can write as q as 2p by 3 uh, sorry 3p by 2 also we can write from this q equal to 3p by 2 that we substitute here p equals to 20 into q means 3p by 2 by 20 plus 3p by 2 p and p cancel on both sides cross multiplying 20 plus 3p by 2 is equals to 30 then 3p by 2 equals to 10 that means p equals to 20 by 3 p value 20 by 3 if p value is 20 by 3 substituting in this q value we get q equals to 3 by 2 times of 20 by 3 that is 10 so what are the two values 20 by 3 and 10 ohm question number 36 a potentiometer wire of length 100 centimeter has a resistance of 20 ohm it is connected in the series with a resistance and a, an accumulator of emf 4 volt having the negligible internal resistance a source of uh, emf 40 millivolt is balanced against 40 centimeter length of the potentiometer wire then the value of uh, series resistance is here in the potentiometer we know that potential difference in the se series secondary part is equals to uh, potential gradient into balancing length but what is taken in the series uh, secondary part is emf of the secondary part so emf of secondary part is a secondary voltage potential gradient how can we write so that can be written as emf of primary by internal resistance of primary plus series resistance plus wire resistance into 
wire resistance by wire length is a potential gradient into small l is a balancing length this is a formula we know now series resistance is asking to calculate so the values are given which cell is balanced here 40 millivolt cell is balanced so secondary part is 40 millivolt in the primary what is the cell connected 4 volt its internal resistance is negligible is at zero series resistance we have to find out potentiometer wire resistance 20 ohm again potentiometer wire resistance 20 ohm by length of potentiometer wire is 100 centimeter into balancing length is 40 centimeter from this rs is asking to calculate so here uh, 40 40 cancel on both sides 21 are 25 is the let us take now cross multiplying this side 5 into 10 power minus 3 is equal to 4 by rs plus 20 10 power minus 3 if you bring that side this is 5 rs plus 100 is equals to 4000 this will be 5 rs is equals to 4000 minus 100 3900 then 5 ones are if you cut uh, 5 sevens are 35 40 will be there 5 eights are zeros are so what is the series resistance 780 ohm